Dell Technologies World 2024 was definitely the AI edition. Last year it was the Apex edition, this year it was definitely all AI. Uh, Jensen Wang and Michael Dell standing on stage talking about running huge numbers of Broadwell GPUs in a single rack in order to deliver business value from large language model AI. And we saw Dell talking about the Dell AI factory. And the AI factory is a really important thing. It's the idea of the industrialization of large language model AI. That we're moving from a stage where it's a science project where you have to know all of these things about embeddings and vector databases and chaining and specialization and fine tuning. And these are all pieces of knowledge that aren't actually business differentiating for most organizations. And so we need to move from where large language models are science projects in order to deploy towards the point where it's an industrial process where we can simply deploy a large language model tool. We can bring our own corporate information, our corporate data that we wish to retain and to protect, as well as our business requirements, our business problems that require solving. We just bring these things. These are the things we need to know about because they're what differentiates our business. We don't need to, we don't want to learn about all of the insides of building a large language model AI to solve these problems. We just want these problems solved. The moment, it's definitely a science project. And we saw some awesome science projects at Dell Technologies World. In particular, I was impressed with a Northwestern University Medical who are using a large language model AI to start this, the, to build the scaffolding of a radiology report. So when an X-ray is taken of a patient, the large language model can identify features that are not about the disease that the, the patient has. So orientation uh, of the image, maybe uh, things like um, drains and lures, you know, medical pieces that are, that are there and on the person or uh, EKG leads. These things can be identified by the LLM so that the radiologist uh, doesn't have to spend all of their time doing these routine processes and they can focus then on what's the actual disease, what's the thing that I want to see in this image. And this is my point, is we bring our business data, in this case an x-ray image, and our business problem, this, this is that we, <laughs> we need to analyze these things and we need a specialized human to do this, but simplifying that process for the human getting real business productivity improvements. The radiologist now can actually scan more images or spend more time looking at the disease element of the image than they did previously. And it's this ability to industrialize the use of large language models, which is what we need to see. It's not quite there. The Dell AI factory is more of a concept and an aspiration than it is a shipping product. I didn't see any signs that there were actual factories building AI solutions in any of the AI, uh, the Dell products, but we will see this happen. Over time, we're going to see vendors building AI into their product rather than the AI being the product. And in particular, we've seen this already with things like image recognition as a part of uh, loss prevention or security safety uh, products that are uh, monitoring video cameras instead of having humans monitor them. Uh, we'll see the same thing progressively happen with large language model AIs. You'll see lots more coverage of large language models and AI and getting business value out of these large language models and AI here on the CTO Advisor. You'll also see a lot of coverage through the wider Futurum group. So check out the futurumgroup.com as well. Follow us here on the CTO Advisor and we will see you on the next CTO Dice.